What's up guys, Matt the Riff Master here. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to correctly clean your satin finish guitar. Perfectly in tune. Uh, so guys, yes today cleaning your satin finish guitar. Now this is something that I thought of because it's something that I actually, a mistake that I made back in the day. Um, I had a, what was it? A uh, LTD EC401, you know, the black with the gold hardware and the gold satin black, satin finish. Um, cool guitar. Yeah, I sold it though. Um, but as you can see, I've got the ESP um, here, the E2, and this is a satin finish guitar. And uh, a couple, I've seen a couple people mention this in the comments when they've asked, like, you know, when they've seen this guitar, they've like, oh, I've got the same guitar, what polish do you use, man? And I'm just like, stop! And here's why. So with satin finish guitars, <clears throat> I mean, they look really cool, but they get really dirty. I mean, this one is just pure filth right now. Pure filth. Uh, so satin, satin finishes, it's slightly different to your lacquered finish guitars. Um, if you don't know what that means, it means the shiny type. When, when your guitar's shiny. Um, <coughs> so it's a different process when it comes to cleaning them. So for example, with a lacquered bodied guitar, you want to use a really good guitar polish. I use this right here. The, uh, the Ernie Ball instrument polish because it's Ernie Ball and it makes my... Guitars look amazing. Definitely worth a go. Or I use the Dunlop, I think it's a 65 Dunlop something polish, which is also very, very good. Um, but yeah, so for lacquered guitars, you want to use a polish to clean all the dirty fingerprints off. But when it comes to a satin finished guitar, stay away from the polish. All right? Treat your fretboard the same as always, you know, fretboard polish, some nice conditioner on there. But for the body, do not, and I mean do not, spray guitar polish onto a satin body guitar. Here's why. I did that with that guitar that I mentioned, the EC401. I uh, completely clueless. I was like, oh, cool, I'm going to clean my guitar, man. Yeah, man, I know exactly what the fuck I'm doing. Sprayed it on. I think it was like around here or something. Started to wipe it. And I was like, what the hell? There's just this huge grease spot just... It's just not going. It was just this huge shiny bit that would just wouldn't go. And I was rubbing it and rubbing it and rubbing it and rubbing it and rubbing it. And it just wouldn't go. Um, and then I found out a while later that that's what happens if you try and polish a satin finished guitar. It doesn't work. Now, one thing that I will say with satin finished guitars, um, naturally over time, so like the neck on this, it's quite shiny now. Whereas when I first got it, it wasn't. That's just because, you know, through playing, the, the natural oils in your skin come out. And that happens to the finish. It's natural. You can't avoid it unless you wear gloves. And if you're going to wear gloves just to avoid that, then you should just not have one of these guitars. Um, and certain areas around here, you know, where you're doing a lot of knob work, <laughs> uh, you're going to be rubbing your hands or going to be touching it. And there's going to be certain areas that are a little shinier than others that just get used a lot more and that's that's just normal that's just a thing but when it comes to actually cleaning it and getting rid of those fingerprints that this guitar has a lot of and scratches too but that's cool uh for fingerprints you want to get yourself no polish stay off from the polish a good hang on it's in my back pocket <laughs> microfiber cloth right i have a I have a Granger Guitars one here, which always does the job. Uh, just get a good microfiber cloth and rub it over the body, the neck, all over the guitar. And eventually it's going to buff out all those fingerprints without leaving a big old horrible, nasty, oily stain on your guitar. If you don't have a microfiber cloth, obviously buy one. They're not that expensive. Or you could just use a t-shirt. I've used a t-shirt a few times when I can't be asked to get my cloth or just grab a t-shirt and... but it works just as good and then it gets rid of the fingerprints and like I said doesn't leave a 
Hold, ubiquitous. Doesn't leave a, a big old horrible greasy stain on your guitar, which you don't want. But yeah, like I said, bear in mind, you're going to get points that are going to lose that satin kind of look and feel because of the natural oils in your skin. But that's normal. You're going to expect that. But yeah, so so stay away from polish. Polish will ruin a satin guitar, which I found out. I actually managed to sell it pretty well. That guitar that I ruined, I was like, oh yeah, man, I've played it so much. And it's just worn down a bit, you know? Yeah, oblivious, he had no idea that. I was a complete amateur and I had no idea what I was doing. So for those of you out there that have a satin finished guitar and you didn't know this and it's too late and you've already buggered it up, don't worry because it still plays, it still sounds good, so don't worry too much. Or if you're thinking about getting a satin finished guitar, now you know, beforehand, okay? You don't want to be spending uh, 800 to to £1,000 on a guitar and then you start spraying it all up with polish and completely balls it up. Uh, so there you go. I thought I'd come on and give that one um, out there to you. Some of you may already know this. Some of you may not know, like me back in the day when I just had no clue. Uh, get yourself a good microfiber cloth. It will do the job. I got this Granger one, which is really cool. I've also got a really cool Ernie Ball one. And again, the polish that I use is the Ernie Ball instrument polish because it's awesome. And there you go. That's how you take care of your satin finished guitar. So guys, if for those of you who didn't know this, I hope it's helped out and I hope it helps people out in the future. Uh, let me know down below what your cleaning rituals are, either for satin guitars or non-satin guitars. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Instagram. As always, rock out. Be awesome. And I will see you very, very soon. See ya.